Yeah, what it do, what it is, what it should be. Hey, here we go, man. Let's take a little quick little look at the morsel. Yeah, I'm about wrapping it up. Yeah, I gotta clean her out, but damn, she look good. Look at that. Got the calipers, and I'm gonna do the days. I'm gonna install the, the lines on there. Uh, the, uh, the chrome calipers I'm getting are taking too long, so I'm ready to ride out. So I'm just gonna ride these out for a minute. Ooh, look at that. Check out the other videos. I replaced all these things here. Added this, that chrome, footboards. Man, we ready. We ready. We got the Taylor's 10 millimeters. We got the Screaming Eagles. Screaming Eagles Part Plus. Got that little filter fitting. Uh, finally got the got my grips done. Boom. Got a new brake line over there. But yeah, she's coming along. We back together. Check out the other videos to see what happened. Why I even had to go through all this. But yeah, we got the double thing. Uh, man, we're looking good. About ready to hit the road. So yeah, this bike calls for a dot four. So we're gonna use some dot four. Oh yeah, each. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna put one more little plate right here, and I'm done with all the chrome stuff. Up here, I don't know what the hell, but I'm pretty much done with all the chrome. I wasn't even gonna put that much, but once you get started down that rabbit hole, we don't love them hoes, but yeah, check out the video on the flipper. Man, I love this thing. This thing right here. Uh, and if you don't have cruise control, check out my video on the adapter for poor cruise control. But yeah, man, we're almost done. I'm just gonna clean these bad boys out real quick. Holla at you, boy. All right, so the new brake lines came with these washers right here, though. You know what I'm saying? But man, I'm going all the boo the fool. I'm gonna use the old ones. You see, it's got a little plastic little coat on it. So I'm gonna use these bad boys. Right now, I'm just cleaning them out because they were full of gunk in there, and I'm not worried about it now because I did change the the lines. So I'm just cleaning out these little gunks clean that out real quick I'm gonna go ahead and install it bleed it and get it ready to roll yeah it's gonna be a little quickie but more of an update uh yeah I got the custom dynamic lights the Nino undercarriage lights I got about eight eight pods all around check out that video so you can see a pod right there can okay, you see it? oh no it's right here though Gia. okay okay I see it's kind of rubbing now all right I just had to put the tire back on Check out that video of me and my boy. Texas Jeff hooked that up. Gia. Oh, I got the final tuning. Gotta do that, bad boy. Oh, man, we gone. Uh, nothing internally has done, been done to the engine. It's all external stuff. Uh, intake. We got the mufflers, 4.4 inch. And uh, everything now is ready to roll. I got I put this on uh, still braided brake line. But this bad boy right, Gia. Yeah, it looks kind of weird because it's actually four inches longer because I am going to do some handlebars. But I'm only going up like two more inches. I, it's pretty much perfect where I like it. I'm a, I just need like a little two more. A little two more so I get a little better lean back. You know what I'm saying? I'm a boy Borico, Hank. Lean back. Lean back. But yeah, man, real quick. It's another beautiful day in L.A. You know how we do it? It's getting chilly for L.A. It's so cold. It's like a good 75. Yeah. Yeah, I said it. I said it again. Check out my other videos for the road trip in the Bentley. I gotta watch that bad boy. Damn, she looking dusty. She still look good. But yeah, man, let me go and finish this up. I covered everything up for the sun. Sun be killing my stuff, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a beast. Oh, you next, baby. That's why I gotta hurry up. Because oh, this baby next. I gotta finish her up. I gotta finish her up. I sure do. Brand new seat. Ain't even, I don't want to look at it right now. Depressing. I did the headlights too. Check those out. But yeah. Let me go on and uh, put these together. We're doing a little, little walk through and uh, we're going to be ready to roll. He's killing it. Done that. I just put them on. Now I gotta go in and I gotta bleed them. So shit, I gotta take all these little things off. All right. Now I go to the bleeding process, which we'll is pour it on top. 
Let it leak out through here bubbles and we'll see what's crack lagging. Just like the car, if you ever did a car. Same thing over here. Still pretty look good. And that red does look good though. Check out my other videos, see how I did that. They got they got a like a film on them you have to like you could take off or you could clean it off right. But check out the other video, I'll show you how I did it. But yeah, I do got the chrome ones coming. They're already getting made. And then I got the chrome inserts here already. I'll probably show y'all this video. Yeah. So now and then uh, they got the back one, which you'll never see it because I got my bags on there. But I still went ahead and painted it. But that that rear one will be chrome too, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Damn, I started putting a game of chrome on this shit. But yeah, I like it, man. I like the gray though. It gives a little sporty look. So it's still sporty. That's what I like on my bikes. I like them uh still the classic style, but I still want that little performance out of it. So yeah, let me bleed these bad boys and we'll get back to it. Holla at your boy. Yo. This one here, yo, on this rear one. Let's see if you can see up in there. Let's see, what a thing. Oh, you can see that lip, but though. What a thing, bro. Let me try this one. Yo. So, what I'm trying to show you all is this liquid in there. I don't know if you can tell, but man, I think it's so dirty that I'm about to leak all that out. So, I'm going to go ahead and leak all that out. We'll be right back with y'all. Uh, this is for the rear, but it's too. It's, I don't know if you can tell on here, but it's supposed to be see-through. You see how dark that look? Now you come up here. I don't know if you can tell the clarity. Yeah. Big time difference. So I could just go ahead and uh, fill up some more and hook it up down there. But, man, I already got it cracked open. And like I said, you take it to a mechanic or something, they might just leave it like that. And just get you out the dough. But when you do it yourself, man, you should always try to do it yourself, man. You could you do it right, you know exactly what's in there and what's been done. So holla at your boy, man. Learn from my mistakes. I've taken it to people before and shit wondering why my shit was screwed up. Holla, do what it do. All I'm gonna do is uh grab towels and soak them in there. Let them soak up all the other fluid and stuff. And then uh once I bleed it, most of it'll come out. But uh yeah, that, that that's that's way too nasty. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, like swamp water. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, man. Holla at your boy. Yup. Yeah. G G unit. Yeah, as you can see. See the bubbles come out? Oh, see them bubbles? Yeah, keep doing that till the bubbles is gone. So what I do is I go slow. So you can see it. Hold it down. Let it go real quick. And then soft. See all that stuff coming out? That's the air coming off the lines. And that's just from the top side. I ain't even gone to the bottom yet. You know you go down. You know you go down. You want to go down? What you going to do? Do you want to go down? Yeah. Shout out Sugar Freak. But yeah, here we go, yo. All right, so I'll do that a few more times. There's more fluid. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit the bottom. Which actually, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Now I got to bleed this bad boys from down here. We're going to do a little time lapse for y'all. You know, y'all, I want to bore y'all. Holla. Subscribe, share, like. Watch some other videos. See why I'm even doing all these things. This bar coming next, as you can see. Oh, something happened. Ooh, what happened? Check out the video, yo. Yeah, I'm going to keep these, though. Check out the video. I'll tell you why. But Harley Davidson. <laughs> Man. You can't even find this, these ways no more.
right, y'all. Fronts are done. I don't know if you can turn the video, but uh, it's like a car one, man. You loosen this up slowly, real slow, and just let the air bubbles come out by themselves. If you press the brake and that is open, you're gonna squirt out ski ski. It's gonna ski ski right out that thing. Boom. Also, up here, if you press it too tight. So there's like a bubble coming out. If you do it too tight, it'll jump out. Boom. So you know, just be careful. This is gonna start off real, real, real like soft, and then it's gonna get tight. That's how you know. But all you really know is when you, then bubbles stop coming out, and when you press this down, that wheel don't move. Easy does it. So yeah, I got the front ones done. I'm gonna finish out the back, and I'll be right with ya. Booyah! For sure, so this will be the perfect time for an adult beverage because uh, the video ain't gonna be that long. But as you can see, a little bubble still coming out. You just gotta have patience, man. Look a little, give it a little squeeze, a little bit of squeeze, uh, let them out, and you go all the way down. You know, you go down, let it up, little squeeze. Seeing little bubbles coming out. Oh, there you go. When you see no more bubbles come out, that's when you're ready. Not not that one. That one's just slurping. Talking about the little bubbles. You know bubbles. You know that guy used to hang out around with? Gee. Oh, I don't see him no more. Not that one. Oh, that, the little, saw the little one come out? Is that a little one right there? Not, not, not that big blurb. Those little bubbles. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so it's a good time to get adult beverage. Go on and hang out. Uh, take your time, man. It's your life. Watch out. Watch my other videos to see why I'm even doing this stuff. I ain't going out like Willie Lump Lump. All right, y'all. The back one's going to take a little longer when you're fully empty because the front one's traveling from here right down, gravity, down to there. The back brake. It's going from here, down through there, all through that mug, back up, through this line, and up to here. So it takes a little longer. So you got to be pumping on this for, for, for a little while. But once you do, you'll see this. Oh, my bad, I want to tear it up. You'll see this come out. Do it slow, because it'll shoot out. See it? See it? Yeah, yeah, see? It's just filling up right now. So you gotta keep doing that. All the bubbles suck, but I keep changing this because that'll kill the rape. Jill. Alright, y'all, just a little tip though. It's gonna be a one man gang. See the brake pedal's way over there. Caliper's over here. You gotta be like this, so. That's right, you gotta have your foot way over there. And then here, W. Do your pressing. All right, stuff comes out. Or you got somebody help you. You know what I'm saying? I'm dolo today, so my boy Texas Jeff ain't here. Ain't no one else. My boy, he being lazy. I'm about to rough him up a little bit. But yeah, my junior, you know, I gotta rough him up a little bit. But uh, that's pretty much it. There's no bubbles coming out through there no more. So I'm set. Bam, so I snap back. Snap back, she just had a baby. Snap back. Jip. All right, y'all, so that'll do it. Hold this video's helpful to y'all. One more last look at her. Yeah, she all set. Still braided lines. Red calipers. Yeah, it looks nice. It plays off of this part here. And then I got the red right there. Yeah, it's going good. So, yeah, hopefully uh, this was helpful. If not to you, to somebody else, so share it. Like I say, you should do your own stuff. You should do the intervals, like it says, to change the fluids on your, on your motorcycle. From the oil transmissions and all that uh, i do all that myself all the fluids plus i use the best fluids and i know exactly how it was done who did it and i know exactly who to blame me myself and i so yeah this is gonna go on sign out with y'all it's family lifetime uh kids waiting for me to go on inside to his house so that'll do it man hopefully uh 
this video was good enough to make you want to slap your mama or not.